Today I'm going to show you how to put a car into gear. Now this applies to cars, trucks, pickup trucks, SUVs, vans, minivans, and it's important to note that this is a generalized video. Your particular vehicle may have its own instructions that are unique for your vehicle and you should follow those after reading the owner's manual. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm inside of a vehicle and in order to put it into gear, what I'll have to do is I'll have to go ahead and have the vehicle on, the vehicle's on right here, and I'm pressing the foot on the brake. And so what I'm going to do now with my foot on the brake, vehicle's on, if I need to go into reverse, I come up here and I press this switch and I'm going to pull it back. And it's currently in reverse. You can see that the camera came on. Now, uh, all vehicles are different. Vehicles are different. And so this knob right here that you have to press in to move this stick could be at the front. Some vehicles actually have push buttons in order to shift the gears. Some of them may have the gear shifter near the steering wheel where you have to pull it towards you and then push it down, something like that. It may vary. Some vehicles have a knob that you twist into gear, but generally most vehicles are look like this or have the button up front. Now with that said, while I'm still in reverse, I'm going to go ahead and shift it to neutral. Now neutral is one of those different gears that you have or funny gears that you have because I can go from reverse to neutral without pressing this button in. Okay, But it's always a good idea to have your foot on the brake before you shift from any gear, in my opinion, unless it's under different circumstances or unique circumstances. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you really quickly how I can shift to neutral. Ooh, went to neutral without doing anything. So I went to neutral and I'm in, now in neutral. Now I'm in neutral, the car is in, you know, uh, stopped. I can also go to drive without even pressing the button. But, and I can go back up to neutral without pressing the button, but I cannot shift it to reverse without pressing the button. So I try to make a good habit of always pressing the button to move it to the gears that I have. So I've moved it to that. Now, also a lot of cars also have a manual shifting to where you can upshift and downshift manually. You see that right there? And you get to that, once I'm in drive, I can just shift it over to the left right here. And you see, I am in, I can downshift and upshift. Now to downshift, once I put, pull it left, I just have to simply, zoom out a little bit, go ahead, pull it backwards to downshift or push it forward to upshift, all right? And it will show you on a lot of vehicles on the, let's see, get it right here. See right there, it shows I'm in first gear, second, th and it will go to third and fourth and so on if I were actually moving the vehicle. Uh, you'll have to read your owner's manual for it to operate for your particular vehicle. But for, I was just giving you an example of how I can do it. And to get out of the manual mode, all I'll do is shift this back over, just like that. And when I'm ready to go to park, I'm going to go ahead and push that button in and shift it all the way to park, just like that. Now, this is just a general guide showing you how to shift the vehicle into gear. Your particular vehicle, the vehicle you're driving or attempting to shift has its own specific instructions so it is important and I recommend that you read your owner's manual before you shift a vehicle and abide by whatever your owner's manual says this video is just a guide to give you a little bit of confidence I hope this video was helpful in some fashion or form
Thanks a lot for watching.